Where are you at, uh, Emery? Dude, I wasn't ready. I'm like right over Loot Lake right now. Yeah, same. Let's go. I'm just getting towards Pleasant Park. Stop playing like a little bitch, dude. You're the one camping. Get out of here. What? You're fucking no, garbage. No sniping, You're fucking bro. garbage. <laughs> Yo, can I get a GG in the chat, boy? This kid is garbage. <laughs>
is so much quicker to turn on people. If someone's behind you, you can easily turn and build, stuff like that. But besides that, we're gonna cover how high is too high for you. So if you guys go to your sensitivity and you raise it up to like nine or, yeah, let's go to nine. Let's just go to nine sensitivity. Um, it's extremely fast. Now, if you're if you're controlling your character and you can you if you're looking around and and your character's doing this like a little jolt type of look, your sensitivity is probably too high for you. If you can control it where you're doing a smooth look around every single time you're playing, then you might be able to control it. But again, that's up to you. If if you're jolting around like this, it's too high for you. Definitely too high for you. You gotta lower the sensitivity. But if you're doing a smooth look like this, like you can control it where you can you can look quick. Or you can move slowly and keep it like very still. I guess how you can practice is hitting a tree. If you're hitting a tree and you're trying to hit the little blue targets, if you can keep up with the blue targets very easily, then the sensitivity is okay. You can play on that sensitivity. Now keep in mind, this is also your hip fire accuracy. So with the shotguns and stuff like that, it's extremely fast. Yes, you can build circles quick. You can build circles extremely quick. But the thing that sucks about this is... Yeah, see how quick it is? Sometimes it's too quick for me. But the thing that sucks about this is when someone's on you with a shotgun and you're hip firing, y your shots are going to be really shaky. So that's why if, if you can't control it, drop it down one sensitivity. Try that out. See how it is. I found my perfect balance at 7. <coughs> you guys can go ahead and give 7 a try. Let me know if that's your perfect balance. But I think 7 is a perfect balance. Some of you guys are asking, is 6 okay? Is 8 okay? It's whatever you're comfortable with. Whatever you can control is the best you can do. Go as high as you can, but make sure it's still controllable, if that makes sense. Now, besides that, we're going to go to, don't worry about the mouse uh, aim down sights or the scope sensitivity. We have the wireless controller aim down sights. So what people ask what this is, is basically when you're shooting an AR, it's your aim down sights. Now, I keep it at 4, 0.42, and the reason I keep it at that is because that way when I see someone, it, it's, it's not too fast. Like if I push right all the way, it's not too fast, but... It's not the slowest. It's going to be kind of hard um, to shoot people. Oh, shit. Someone's shooting at me. I'm over here trying to do a tutorial and whatnot. But it's going to be hard to aim down sights, basically, and, and try and shoot somebody because when you're aiming down your sights and your sensitivity is extremely high, let me show you, for example, if I go down to my aim down sights and move it up to, like, 0.78 or something, when I'm aiming down sights, dude, I'm not going to be able to control this. It's going to be just like the hip fire. I'm not going to be able to control someone slightly moving a little bit like this the slight movement right here that's what you need when it comes to aiming down sights so this it's okay to have your aim down sights as low as possible as long as you can hit your shots with your aim down sights that's good as long as you can control this little range of movement right here like a little circle of where somebody could be that's good that's what you want to work on um again like i said it's your aim down sight. So you can you can literally, if someone's over here to your right, you can look and then aim down your sight and then take your time with the shot. Um, it's not like Call of Duty where everything's extremely slow. Like if you have one sensitivity, it's slow to turn on someone. It's slow to aim down sights and kill them. This, you can have one fast and one slow, which in my opinion, it works really good. So like I said, keep it around a 0.42. You guys can play with it, see what you like the best. Now we have the scope sensitivity. Now this is with a sniper. So if you have a sniper or a scoped AR, that's your sensitivity with moving left and right. I say keep that about the same as your uh, AR aim down sights, as your normal aim down sights, because like I said, guys, it, it's it's really good to keep it slower. Um, if you want to, actually, I might move to 0 0.40. Just because the slower, the better. But you don't want it to be too slow. Like, for instance, if I go to 0 0.8, if I move it to 0.8, yes, I have control of my aim down sights completely. But look, I'm going to push right as far as I can. Look at how slow that is. If somebody is running, there's no way I'm going to keep up with that person running. So that's why you want to have it uh, kind of fast, but not the fastest in the world. Like I said, uh, 0 0.4 is is really good man it's a good sensitivity to keep it on and it really it really helps out man it's it's not too fast if someone's running i can keep up with them um it, it's a good sensitivity in my opinion play around with it find out what you're comfortable with and stick with it man stick with it and use it you want to go as high as you can but being able to control it now besides that we have the set to scale hud this is up to you guys i keep it at one which is default um what this is is basically if you guys know they allow you to change your HUD now. So as you guys can see, my mini map, my inventory, my health and everything is super small. I keep it at a normal just because I like to be able to see all my stuff. Um, it, it doesn't bother me that it's in the way. So I keep it at a normal 1.0, which is really good. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. And then we're going to cover a few other things. But let me get into the circle and then we'll talk about a few more things. All right, now that I'm in the circle, we're going to cover the rest of these things down here. Now, uncapped frame rate, guys, I promise you now, it's always set to off. Go turn it on and apply it, you guys. I promise you now, the quality of your game 
is going to increase a huge amount, you guys. If you want to play with good quality, like the FPS, uh, it, it's good to have uncapped um, frame rate on, but the thing that sucks about it is every time you turn off your PS4 and turn it back on, it's automatically going to set to off, so you're going to have to come back here every single time you start up your game and turn it on, guys, but I promise you, you won't regret it. Uh, matchmaking region, keep it on auto. It keeps it to the closest region to you. Um, auto will, it'll give the best region for you without you having to find it yourself, so keep that on auto. Everything else I have off for except for auto equip better items um, and reset building choice and also show spectator count uh just because i want to know how many people are watching i turned off auto run just because auto run can be very very annoying you guys um when you're sitting there trying to fight somebody because i push run so many times sometimes my auto run will automatically make me run when i'm not trying to so it can you up in some fights now it's a little easier because you, you can be lazy when you're running across the map to just turn on auto run and stuff like that. But don't be lazy. If you want to be good at the game, don't be lazy. Just just hold your thumbstick up and run across the map. Um, it definitely helps out to have that off because in some gunfights, it will fuck you up in certain situations. So just turn it off. It's better to play with it off. And that's basically all the settings that I have for you guys. Now, I know some of you guys have more questions about... Your, your sensitivity like is six okay is seven okay guys i'm telling you now whatever you're comfortable with is perfect the higher you get the better you'll be as a player but you got to be able to control it at that high sensitivity so as long as you can control it it's fine you guys if you're playing on a nine nine but you're controlling it through your hip fire shots like this it's fine you guys i promise you it'll be perfectly fine you don't have to worry about it too much um it's it's all about your personal preference the better players have the higher sensitivity but they also know how to control it just because you have a high sensitivity doesn't mean you're going to be the best in the game you guys just because i go through on 10 10 sensitivity isn't going to automatically make me one of the top players in the game i have to be able to be good with it at that sensitivity but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up i appreciate that more than anything in the world holy crap there's only 10 people left you guys just by camping there was 10 people i don't have the best loot i hate burst uh assault rifles but we're gonna go ahead and try and get a win why not since we're already this close to the end let's just try and get a win for you guys in the books i don't have the best material i don't have shields so if someone snipes me one time i'm dead if someone headshots me and then body shots me i'm dead so i am in a tough situation because i wasn't looting and i was telling you guys a little tutorial on how to how to set things up oh there's some loot over here but yeah we're gonna go ahead and try and get this win i can't promise you guys anything but we'll try it there we go Get off me, man. That was a good one. He was he was pretty good. But guys, there you have it, man. We got the W. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys please can give this video a thumbs up for that W. It was it was pretty easy, man. I was camping, but I was giving a tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace.